What's going on? It's 6.30 a.m. here in Mexico City, and I'm about to head to the airport going to Los Cabos today. But yeah, it's been about four years since I quit my last real job. It's been a crazy ride. I've been all around the world, learned how to make money online, learned Spanish, and met a ton of awesome people. And in this video, I'll give you the biggest lessons I've learned along the way. But yeah, I'm actually heading to the airport a little bit early to meet me and Miga for breakfast. Before I do that though, I'm gonna give you the first lesson and that is you don't have to live the life that everybody expects you to. After college, everybody told me, go to grad school, get a real job, and do something secure. But I didn't wanna do any of that. I wanted a lifestyle of freedom, adventure, and the ability to basically do whatever the hell I want. Every step of the way, people told me I was crazy and I was gonna fail. But that's part of the game, man. Every time you try to do something out of the ordinary, people are gonna doubt you, they're gonna think you're crazy, and they're gonna say you can't do it. They say it because they're afraid. If you succeed, they know they'll have to face the truth. So don't listen to them. Instead, prove them wrong and realize this man only you can sculpt the perfect life for yourself de hecho estoy aquí con mi amiguita Oyuki hola <laughs> ella acaba de renunciar su trabajo para mover a Australia estás emocionada? muy emocionada <laughs> y por qué lo hiciste? bueno pues la verdad es que estaba como un poco cansada ya del trabajo y tenía como en mi corazón la necesidad de tener una experiencia como esta y bueno creo que va a ser una gran aventura Mira, la verdad es que tienes que experienciar las aventuras y escucha tu corazón. Alright man, we over here in Los Cabos, check it out, we got the, this big apartment and it's time for number two and that is that the world is not as scary as people would have you believe. Boom! Oh shit! But sometimes it is. That's right man, I'm over here with my buddy Dave from How to Beast. What's up guys? I'll let you finish filming. <laughs> Alright man. But yeah, anyway, people have warned me about every single city I've gone to. When I went to Vietnam, they told me, those angry war vests, they gonna get you. When I moved to Medellin, Colombia, they said, those narcos are gonna get you. And when I moved to Mexico City, well, it was the same thing with the narcos again. The point is, in all these dangerous cities, I actually felt safer than I did in a lot of US cities. You know, people, the news, the media, want you to believe that the world is a scary place. But when you actually go out there and experience it for yourself, you realize that it's not nearly as dangerous or as scary. So go out there and see for yourself. All right, man, I'm over here on the beach in Los Cabos. Check it out. Pretty sweet view over here. And it's time for number three, and that is sometimes you just gonna take the leap. Now listen, man, you're never gonna feel ready to take the leap and make a big life change. You know, back when I was living in my parents' house and working as a door-to-door -door guy, I felt like I needed, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to even feel comfortable quitting my job and starting over. But eventually I thought, all right, either I'm gonna make this happen, I'm gonna take the steps to do it, or I'm not. And if I don't, I know I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my life. So one day, when I had finally had it with the job I was working, and I finally had enough uh, online income opportunities to last me a couple months, and enough savings to get my way out of the country and into Vietnam to start my journey, I walked into my boss's office and told him I quit. So for you, that might mean figuring out the kind of lifestyle that you wanna live, and laying out the types of steps you need to take to get there and start moving forward on the path even if it's scary. All right guys, I'm gonna hand it off to my buddy Dave from How to Beast for point number four because he's quit his job three or four years ago and he's been traveling the world as well. All right guys, number four is to be prepared for the ups and the downs because even if you quit your job and you start your own business and it's profitable and successful, there's still gonna be a lot of times when you experience periods that are very tough and challenging both mentally and emotionally. And you have to realize that most people never actually get to the point where they are successful 
because of this exact problem. On one hand, just the pure act of walking into your boss's office and quitting your job is extremely challenging, and that's not even to mention starting your own business. There's gonna be a lot of times, and I still have times like this, where I question myself and wonder if it would just be easier to go back to working a nine to five job for someone else and collecting a paycheck every other week. But that being said, if you're in it for the right reasons and you really value the freedom that comes with this lifestyle, then all of these challenge and depressing periods are ultimately worth it. I hope that makes sense. We back at the crib and it's time for number five and that is that anybody can make this happen. A lot of people, you know, see me and my friends doing this kind of stuff, you know, working online and traveling the world and you think, that seems really difficult. I don't think I could do that. The truth is, man, I've been all around the world and I've met people from all walks of life who are doing this exact type of thing. They're not special, I'm definitely not special. The only thing stopping you from doing this kind of stuff is your own excuses that are holding you back. It's a lot more difficult to struggle living a lifestyle that you can't stand than to fight for a lifestyle that you're gonna love. So it's time to drop those excuses and see what's on the other side. All right, man, these have been five lessons I've learned from four years of world travel. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications because I put out new videos just like this every Tuesday and every Friday to help you talk to girls and crush it at life. Anyway, I'm off on some more Cabo adventures, so I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.